What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports and welcome to the first episode of our Tank Bigsby Heisman Challenge. First video with the updated rosters and schedules for 2022. You see the Heisman list here to start the season. No Tank Bigsby. Let's see if we can get him there. First game is against an FCS. Here we go early in the game. Tank Bigsby, Bigsby breaking tackles, picking up seven yards. Third down and three, first drive. Try to swing it out to him. Doesn't work. We had to punt there. We get the ball back. Here goes Tank around the right side, spinning for a first down. Picks up about 10 yards. Now Finley going to throw, completes that pass inside the 30-yard line on a fourth down and three. We go to Tank. Can he pick up the first down? No, he cannot. And early on, struggling a little bit here with FCS. We send the defense, though, only playing offense here in the Heisman Challenge. So we move on to the next drive. Tank. Breaks a tackle inside the 30. Out of bounds inside the 25-yard line. Pickup of 16 on that play. And then here he goes. Gone. Touchdown. 25-yard run. And the Tigers are on the board. Tank at the end of the first quarter. Nine carries, 69 yards. Thanks to that one big run. That's really why his average is as high as it is. All right, moving on to the second quarter. Tank Bigsby picks up the first down there. Going to try to throw to him, but it doesn't work, and that sometimes can happen when you're trying to force the ball to one person. Going to go back to him here on second and 20, and look at this FCS defense all over it. They made this a challenge, a much bigger challenge than I thought it was going to be. Uh, third quarter now. Swinging out to Tank. Breaks a tackle. Look at that play out across the 35-yard line, and we were able to kind of get him going in the pass game a little bit here. Once again, we'll throw to him, swing it out. Pick up a first down out near midfield. Going back to the ground now. Bigsby around the right side. Here goes Tank. Another nice run. Pick up of eight on that play as we continue to add to his numbers. He came out of the game. We got stuffed there and had to settle for the field goal. And I do try to play these somewhat realistically, so I'm not just going to give him the ball every single play. But the focus is going to be on getting the ball to Tank Bigsby. A fumble on the next drive, so we get a very short field, a chance to punch it in for the touchdown and add to his stats. And there we go. First play into the end zone. Touchdown, Auburn. It's now 17-6. Looks like we might pull away here. So it's really all about adding to the stats. And you see the FCS defense again. They made a lot of big plays in this game. At the end of the third quarter, Tank with 19 carries, 127 yards, Two touchdowns, but against an FCS opponent, you really want to try to pad those stats because it's a, it's a great opportunity to do so. Uh, you see 31 yards receiving on seven catches. And here comes FCS. They get a touchdown, and it's 17 to 12. So this game's still, still close, still very close. Bigsby trying to add to that yardage total here on a second and two, picks up another first down as we're just kind of looking to run out the clock. Go play action here. And T.J. Finley throws a terrible pass. It's intercepted. And the FCS Midwest team is going to take this all the way back inside the 15-yard line, down around the 10. Could the defense hold them? Yes, they hold them to a field goal. So 17-15 to 15 now on a second and three, trying to keep this drive going. Tank Bigsby around the right side, all the way inside FCS territory. And he had a big game, as you see, picking up some big runs here. Second down and seven now. Finley throws it, completes it. There's Shedrick Jackson. And a touchdown here might end this game. We go back. Actually, Tank's out, so Hunter gets the ball. And now on a second and six, we're going to try to throw it. Finley in trouble. Throws it away. And a field goal still would keep this a one-score game. So we really want a touchdown. And we try to force the ball to Bigsby, and it's knocked away, incomplete. We have to kick the field goal. So FCS can actually come down and potentially win this game or take the lead, but they do not. So 318 to play. You're thinking, all right, let's just run the clock out. Let's get out of here. No, I decide to throw it, and I throw a terrible pass, and it's intercepted, and FCS picks it off. So now we have to play some defense. We're going to play defense because the game is on the line here. And let's see how this one played out. Ball on the 22. Under pressure. Let's it fly. 
Balls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. It's first and ten. Ball on the 11. Just under three to go in regulation. He makes it to the nine. Bring him down for a loss on the play. Fourth quarter, this third and long is huge. Throws a strike over the middle. Touchdown, and that's going to give him the lead. Stay on the sidelines for this extra point as the offense is going to stay on the field and try to make this a three-point game. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line deep. End zone picked off. And they won't get the two. From his own goal line, he's to the 20. Across the 30. Across midfield. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 34. The Tigers coaching staff and the entire team knows that this is the guy that can win it for him. Look at this running back, whether it's a, a simple toss sweep or maybe a ball out of the backfield where he can catch it in space. Any way that they can get the football to him to see if he can spring one to maybe get the field goal range or who knows, maybe take it to the house. Takes it right side for a good game. Nice run up the middle. Second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. They'll bring him down at the 13. And the right, 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 right. Three down, three down. Let's go. Let's kill, go. kill, kill, kill. And we got down. 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 Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. That makes it first and goal. All right, so at this point, really, we could just run the clock down, kick the field goal, win the game, get out of here after a scare. But I really want the touchdown. We want to get Tank another touchdown. This is the Heisman Challenge. Yeah, we want to win all the games, but we also want to win the Heisman. That's the main goal. Uh, team success is very important, though, so we do need to make sure we win as many games as we possibly can. But we're going to try to punch it in the end zone here. Going to the ground. Tank is going to pick up the touchdown. A three-yard run, and that will help the stats out. You see he was big on that drive. Five carries, 30 yards, and... Finishes it off there with the touchdown. So now 13 seconds left. Uh, how would this one play out? Actually, we're going to go for two because we're going to try to make this a seven-point game. I saw a chance to get it. I don't think. Do they can't even count two-point conversions on the yardage stats? I don't think they do. All right, so anyways, we're going to go to the read option here. This one maybe won't really help, but we don't even get it anyways. They stuff it. And I tell you what, this FCS team came to play much more of a challenge than I thought it was going to be. Thought we'd run away with this. You see the yards there. We'll take a look at his stats in just a second. It came down to this final play. Third down and 10 of Hail Mary. And we're going to knock it away. So that'll do it. 26-21, to 21, the final score. Again, a challenge from this FCS team. A challenge that I was not expecting. Uh, as we go through this this Heisman Challenge and future Heisman Challenges, this is kind of the, the format that I'm looking at. I know a lot of you don't want to see me play the full game, and so I, I try to cut it down to some highlights, but still get some drama in there if the game is close at the end. As you see, 196 yards for Tank, three touchdowns, 28 carries. Had a lot of carries, and then through the air. We didn't throw it to him anymore, just the 31 yards receiving. And so that'll do it for our first episode. Hopefully that'll get him at least going a little bit, trying to add some stats here in these first couple of games and see if we can get him into that Heisman race, into the top five. Thanks for watching. Give me your thoughts down in the comments below and stay tuned for more here on the SG1 Sports 
YouTube channel.